Oil is at a record low. It is actually now cheaper than the actual barrel that it comes in. Economic experts in the United States are saying that soon there may be a bailout of the U.S. oil industry as prices are going down. Tens of thousands of Americans are losing their jobs. Companies are going into bankruptcies. The global financial market is being scooped and oil companies are just surviving off investments and loans. Now, why is this happening? How is this happening? What effect is this going to have on a greater geopolitical scale you're going to find out in this video as well as how the elites like the Rothschilds and Rockefellers are profiting off this and using this as a way to get more power and control away from you many people think oh cheap oil prices this is great for the com no 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 when elites have control of a natural resource they do not make it cheap for your convenience there's a bigger game happening here that we will tell you in this video to understand what's happening we have to tell you what happened in michigan just a few days ago when gas was being sold for 46 cents a gallon this happened because there's three gas stations located near each other in michigan that were engaged in a price war a price war is when you lower the price of the competition to put your competition out of business and gain a complete control of the market and because of that, gas was lowered to 46 cents a gallon. This is happening on a greater geopolitical scale, but it's a lot more complicated. And the price of oil will not go down anytime soon. Even billionaire energy tycoon T-Bone Pickens says that he believes the price of oil could soon drop to as low as $20 a barrel. And he is right. Why is this happening? Well, of course, this is being fueled by Saudi Arabia, the largest oil producer, producer and the United States. Now, what are they up to? We have to understand a little bit of history here because oil could be used as a weapon and has been used as a weapon geopolitically before. In 1973, Saudi Arabia stopped producing oil, limited it, and because of that, the oil prices went up dramatically high because there was not enough oil, causing the oil price shock. Saudi Arabia did this to the United States because the United States supported Israel against the Arab states in their war that was happening at that time. This also happened in 1998 because Saudi Arabia was threatened by Russia and wanted complete oil supremacy. They overflooded the market with oil, causing the price of oil to go down, which made Russia default on its debt because Russia's economy is heavily based off the sales of oil. And if the price is low, Russia's economy will not survive. If you look at the current situation, at the current price of oil, who is the biggest loser geopolitically because of these low prices well it's countries like venezuela iran nigeria ecuador brazil and russia all countries which the united states and saudi arabia does not have good relations with or sees as a direct enemy like russia and iran the president of venezuela even went as far calling this a war against russia and venezuela saying it's a strategically planned war aimed at venezuela and russia to try to destroy and cause an economic collapse within their country. Looking at how things are unfolding, especially with the United States creating a new deal with Iran, that looks like the situation is correct. With the new Iran nuclear deal that came and finally passed, Iran could now sell their oil on the global markets. Again, flooding the global markets with more oil, lowering the price, and that's why T-Bone Pickens was right, saying that the price of oil will go down because now there will, there will even be more oil out there, lowering the global price, lowering the demand, and of course, causing huge, great geopolitical shifts. Now, it's not only the price of oil and the control of oil that matters geopolitically, it also matters how you sell the oil. The United States has most of its power because the US dollar is the reserve currency that oil is being traded on. We look, even now, new developments came out from the US Secretary of State with declassified emails that came out showing how the State Department and the United States killed Gaddafi, the leader of Libya, because he was creating a gold-backed currency for the Pan-African Union that would sell oil on gold dinar instead of U.S. dollar. Again, threatening that U.S. dollar reserve currency because the more oil that's traded on the U.S. dollar, the more power the U.S. dollar and the U.S. economy and the U.S. government has. Gaddafi threatened that. The U.S. government supported radical Islamic terrorists inside of Libya. And now Libya, without Gaddafi, is a total hotbed for ISIS and other Islamic extremists that are doing horrible things around the world. Even though on the mainstream media you hear how Islamic terrorism is bad and the U.S. government is fighting it. No. 
geopolitically there's a bigger game being played here that you need to understand and in this email in this video you could see the emails that were released and read them yourself how the United States did this the mainstream media in the United States said that they're getting rid of Gaddafi for humanitarian reasons because he was a dictator and did horrible things no the bigger reason is he threatened the US dollar world reserve currency status and that's exactly what's happening we also are seeing the same situation unfold in Syria with the United States Saudi Arabia Turkey Qatar Israel even supporting radical Islamic terrorism like Isis inside of Syria to get rid of Bashar al-Assad Russia has come in and now they're bombing ISIS, bombing their oil convoys, destroying the money flow, the illegal money flow of ISIS that was selling oil to Turkey and other U.S. allies. They destroyed it. And because of that, Russia is making significant gains against ISIS. And ISIS has to cut their fighters' salaries by 50% because the money flow is not there in any way, shape, or form. Syria is extremely important because there's also very important elites like Cheney, Rothschilds, Murdoch, James Woolsey and other US based elites who are part of the Guinea energy based oil company and drilling company that want and plan to drill in the Golem Heights area and the only thing stopping them from drilling in the Golem Heights area is Bashar al-Assad the leader of Syria that the United States government and all these other US allies have been trying to overthrow now the control of just drilling oil is not just that simple it's also the sales of oils which Bashar al-Assad threatened to not sell oil in US dollar Syria does have a lot of oil obviously there's a lot of drilling opportunities but the greater picture here is control of it now what else is happening here behind the scenes that you did not hear about you won't hear about anywhere else well let's look at the Rockefeller family the Rockefeller family that is known for turning oil into gold who started Standard Oil in 1870 had a 90% control of the market who said competition is a sin. The John D. Rockefeller family and their foundation who made all of their riches off oil just two years ago as if they knew something was going to happen two years ago took out billions of dollars of their investments of their assets out of oil. Okay, this is huge. This is, it's not far fetched to say that the Rockefeller family and their insiders with US governments, especially with all these in international corporations that are trying to make money off this big oil, like Dick Cheney, like James Woolsey, former head of the CIA, we all confronted all these criminals before. They knew this oil dump was going to happen. They took out their investments when oil was at one of its peak, at its highest. They took their money out, sold their stock of oil, sold their assets of oil, and supposedly they're doing this for clean energy. But this is too convenient for them, and they knew this was happening, and they're profiting off of this because the whole game is rigged, controlled by the very elites. That will put out PR articles saying that they're fighting for clean energy. No. There's a bigger game, there's a bigger scheme here that you're not being told anywhere else. And because of this global manipulation of the oil market, there are huge geopolitical consequences, especially when it comes to pissing off Russia, Iran, Venezuela, going after our geopolitical enemies in another strategic front that you do not see in this full-out economic warfare that is also causing extreme turmoil here in the United States. That's what's happening. You won't get it anywhere else. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos here coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change. And if you're interested in becoming a journalist, going to a boot camp training seminar on life hacks on pretty much anything that you can imagine. If you want to learn all my tricks of the trade, how I do everything, how I could just give you all my wealth of information, Check out the Change Media University boot camp that's happening in Mexico in just a month. Get involved. You can check out the link in the description below. It's definitely worth checking out. If you go to wearechange.org forward slash store, you get a 10% discount. I hope to see you in Mexico to be at our boot camp so we could educate, inspire, and activate all of you amazing human beings who are part of our audience to be here on the front lines with me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe again. We're going to have a lot more videos coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.